So we've got uh, Kirsten Ford on the line with us this morning, if I can get my stuff together this morning. <laughs> Good Lord, man. <laughs> Good morning, Kirsten. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Glad as, to be here. As crazy as it's been this morning, I'm telling you. So you've got a really unique story. Uh, one of my favorite shows, Mad Men. Love the show. Yes. And you, now tell us your story on how much you love Mad Men. Well, I... I so in Oklahoma, where I'm from, I'm this is about five years ago. I'm sitting there watching this this season one episode, and I realized I love the show so much. And I wanted to be an actor for a very, very long time. Grew up doing musical theater and theater, um, some regional work in Oklahoma, and just hadn't made the decision to really make the jump, the leap of faith to come to LA and. This was the catalyst. This was the thing. I'm watching the show, and I suddenly just realized I have to get out here and get going and start this because TV series have expiration dates, and you don't know if they're going to get renewed and picked up um, for the next season. So I decided right there, I've got to get out there and get started. I've got to at least give this a chance. So I pack my car, I sell my house, and I move out here four years ago, and just start working, you know, acting classes, meeting people, auditioning for TV, and lots and lots and lots of no's, um, a few yeses along the way with independent projects, no, but no TV. So this is the first TV job, and it's just so surreal and incredible, and, you know, I'm, just, I'm really happy, really excited. So you moved to L.A. to get into acting, to be on Mad Men, and then, oh my gosh, you're on you're Mad on Men. You're on Mad Men now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's so weird. Every time I, I think about that, I really have to, it, it just makes me realize how powerful our thoughts are and our intentions. And so, yeah, it's been a, a bit of a whirlwind. And I haven't been able to talk about it, you know, until episode three aired on Sunday. So it's been really great to finally talk about how much this show has meant to me and how I've really been focused working on being a part of my men. That's an amazing story. Incredible. I love it. How old were you, if you don't mind me asking, yeah. when you moved to LA? Like, what age were you? I was, I was twenty-four. Okay, twenty-four. All right. 24. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. brave. So do yeah, you? Yeah, and it was great. I didn't know anyone here either. I literally brought my computer and clothes, and that was it. You no, know, set up shop. Yeah. You make it sound so easy to get into the acting field. I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, but it's not. I, I worked those four years. I've been in L.A. June will be my four-year anniversary. And, you know, it's, a, it's an expensive, hard business to be a part of. But I think the thing is, if you want to pursue art, you just have to know that you're going to do it for free for a while. And you have to believe in yourself more than anybody else. Because I, I, a lot of people are... You know, we'll say, you're crazy. This isn't going to work. You can't do it. And I have to forge ahead and just say, yes, I can. And I'm doing it. And watch. And wow. four years later, and I, I finally have something that the industry and the world would recognize as, you know, an exciting thing to be a part of. That's so cool. What a great story. Very inspirational for everyone listening this morning. Okay, so I, I've got to ask you, Kirsten, uh, you know, as you look ahead, what is one of the, uh, you know, who do you want to be in either a film with or on TV with? Who's one of your uh, big dreams to uh, work with? There are so many. I, I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt is somebody who, you know, just in terms of art and his voice and opinion, it's so wonderful to see him pursuing the writing, the directing, the acting. He kind of does it all, and... And I really admire that. I, I wouldn't consider myself a great writer and don't necessarily have dreams of directing, but I respect what he's doing, and he's so good at just owning everything he's doing. Um, I would be in any Wes Anderson film or David O. Russell. I think their work is, and there are a couple of directors, writers, that I would just, I would jump off ship and follow them if they asked me to. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Well, what a great story, uh, Kirsten. I'm telling you, well, we look forward to uh, to seeing you now on Mad Men and, and uh, way to go with fulfilling your dream. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. It's, it's been really incredible. And I appreciate being on the show so much and um, look forward to maybe speaking with you again in the future. All right. Sounds good. Kirsten we'll check in, yeah, 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 check in with us anytime, no doubt. All right. Make sure to watch Mad Men right. AMC Sunday night. Sounds AMC good. AMC Sunday night. Thank there you very go. much. Thanks, Kirsten. Wow, what a weird... I mean, she just makes it sound so easy. I just pack the car up and have a suitcase well, and laptop. Well, you know, it doesn't hurt that she's a beautiful blonde, so yeah. she looks like an actress. Does she? Yeah. I haven't even seen a picture of her yet. She's pretty.